Hey chums! It's Easter Sunday and we are here in Disney Springs. But we're actually here to celebrate Adam's birthday, which was yesterday. Yes, we are going to eat over at Morimoto and I'm very excited about that because I love this restaurant and we have yet to review it for you guys. So we're gonna do that today, but before we start that, it's time to subscribe to this channel right this second. Smack that like button and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications every time we upload a new video. Let's go get checked in. So it's Easter Sunday here in Disney Springs, and this is what the crowd looks like. Um, it is kind of busy today, and um, I don't know if people are here just to hang out or to eat, but we definitely have our reservation. We're just waiting right now for uh, Adam's sister and her friend to join us for dinner. So if you've never been inside of Morimoto, this is what it looks like in here. It's just a beautiful restaurant, awesome light fixtures, this kind of wave sculpture that runs through the whole restaurant from the bottom floor to the top floor, up into the bar. And it's even behind us here. It's just such a really, really cool restaurant. There's an open kitchen down there, so you can actually see them preparing food. And, uh, and then on the second floor is where the sushi is prepared. All right, so what did you get? Shumai. All right, so this is the appetizer. This is what the shumai looks like. And then what did you get over here? <laughs> so I got the standard pork dumplings. Um, these look a little less interesting than those do, but I know that these are really good, so I went and got them again. Kind of looking like oh, we should have gotten those. But... All right, let's try this out. I'll trade you one. Yeah, you know what? That's actually a great plan. Let's try this first. Very hot. <laughs> Really good though. <laughs> Tasty dumpling. I do prefer fried dumplings. Steamed here are really good. All right, so it looks like you guys are exchanging. Yes, we decided to um, do a little switcheroo here so I can try one of these. Marcus can try one of mine. I like them both equally. I can't pick a favorite. Yeah. They're both really good. Wow. Mm. That shumai is almost like a meatball. Um, they use the flying fish eggs and um, some mushrooms. But yeah, that's. I like it just as much as I like the other one. Can't lose here. And I just got some miso soup which is always okay, going to be so fantastic and of course <laughs> mine is prepared gluten-free but... you know it's invisible I'm gonna take the japanese yellowtail and get a light sear using our stone bowl now this fish has already been clean and cured so all we're doing is getting a light sear on one side for a duality of texture that's what this dish is about four veggies underneath daikon white radish carrots sesame spinach and zenmai japanese royal fern similar to a mushroom Egg yolk in the middle, and we're gonna add a sweet sesame soy infused with ginger. Now, Chef Morimoto made this dish for the first time in 1999 on the original Iron Chef Japan show. The secret ingredient for the battle was this fish that we have here, the Japanese yellowtail. He ended up winning the competition and earning his Iron Chef title, so it's very special to him. Although we were the first restaurant that he brought this into, that was because we were the first Pan Asian restaurant he opened. Now this oh, dish was inspired cool. by a Korean one. Are we familiar with the bim bim bop? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. That was the inspiration for this dish. He just changed up the vegetables to be uh, locally found Japanese vegetables, as well as he swapped out the protein instead of a beef. It is now a yellowtail from Japan. And the whole goal of the, di of the contest that night was to make a Japanese dish. Now he almost lost because they said it was a Korean dish, but he argued with them, showed them that all the ingredients were different and they are all Japanese. He was able to persuade the judges and actually ended up winning the competition with this. Nice chef for you. Now this bowl will always stay hot throughout your meal the entire time until the end, so please only move it using the wooden board, but enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. So Adam and I got the same thing to eat, except mine's gluten free and his is not. Yes. Right. You guys have probably guessed they cooked that fish on the edges of the bowl because the bowl is like 400 degrees or something like that. So the fish actually cooks on the side of the pot. This is a very cool concept. Oh, that fish is cooked perfectly to it, like just falls apart. All right, I'm gonna try just a little bite of the yellow tail. Wow. And this is your first time getting this. Yes. Usually I'm the one that gets this, but I did get it this time too, but it's, now you see why. <laughs> yeah, I can see why this would have won an Iron Chef competition. Fantastic. Wow. My dessert has arrived and they gave me this beautiful presentation. I just blew my candle out, like without even <laughs> intending to. So that is what it is. But that's okay. The candle's not what's important. What's important is this deliciousness here. So I can't remember the, what did he call this? Is it a it's banana? some type of banana spring roll. Or a something? Yeah, yeah, I, I can't remember it. Well, it's, they're almost, they're like sugary spring rolls full of banana. There's ice cream with fudge. And, um, maybe coconut? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that is coconut. It looks like these shredded little ribbons. This looks like an awesome dessert, it really does. I'm so curious to see what this is all about. Mm. It sounds good, it sounds crunchy. Uh-huh, that's those little ribbons. Let's try the um, spring roll. Mm. That spring roll is so good. There's a chocolate ribbon going through the spring roll, along with the banana. Oh, that's like, just absolutely fantastic. Is a happy birthday edible? Yep, it's a piece of chocolate. Well guys, that was another awesome, awesome meal at Morimoto. Yes. That was our first time doing a video in there, but We've eaten there before and it's just awesome. It's always very good. Yeah, the place is just so, so good. And I understand why this guy won Iron Chef. I mean, that's fantastic food. Everything from the appetizer to the, to the dessert was just like top quality. I absolutely loved it. That fish, man, that yellow was a yellow tail. Oh man. Yeah, I always get the gluten-free version of that, but tonight Adam got the regular version of that, and I'm sure that um, he loved it too, right? It was really good. I usually get the fried rice here with some type of protein, but I cannot complain about what I just had. I think what I just had the flavor-wise was even better than the, than the fried rice. So that was fantastic. All right, guys, we are going to call it a day and head back home. But before we do that, subscribe to this channel right this second if you have not done so already. Smack the like button and hit that bell icon to receive all notifications every time we upload a new video. Until next time, we will see you guys at the parks. Happy Easter, everybody.